So this week, since I've been doing a lot of, of healings this week, it inspires me to, to do this video, to teach the way that I do the healings and, and how I teach other people to do this for themselves. That's the most important thing is that people learn how to do it themselves so they don't need me to do it. But they learn how to do it themselves. And then anything that happens in the future, they have this tool to be able to heal themselves, to be able to love themselves. So it's a, it's a wonderful practice that was given to me. <laughs> I haven't really seen it in many places. There's a little bit of, of this that's done in, in, in Chinese medicine. Um, the healing light meditation. And uh, also in Tibetan practices, there's a little bit of this, but not, not as much. <laughs> it was shown to me in a, in a much more, I think, thorough way, I guess. So this is a, a light healing meditation. It's a meditation using the visualization of white light which is not a completely surprising thing because as I think it was David Bohm, one, one of the foremost physicists said that matter, solid matter, our bodies are really condensed light, which is a very mystical way of seeing it, but also in alignment with how all awakened beings see matter. It's all this one energy. It's all this one light. So in this case, we're, we're using our mind, our imagination to visualize this. It begins this way. We can use our imagination to visualize this. And eventually, we don't need to do that anymore because we realize it's real. That this light is the source of everything, of all matter, this energy. And how we do this, to begin with, you, you want to be in a relaxed state. Often when we do meditation, we, we, if we're sitting, we want to keep our body in, a, in alignment with our back straight, but real relaxed. We don't, we don't want anything to resist the flow of this energy. We want, to, we want to be in an open and receptive way without any blockages. You can do this lying down too. You can do this in the savasana, the yoga corpse pose. Just be comfortable. Relaxed. No stress. You can use your breath for this too. Just to relax your breathing. You want to set the stage for this and be an open vehicle for this. So it begins with visualizing your crown chakra, which is in the top of your head, most of you know what this is, the crown chakra in the very top center of your head. And you visualize the light pouring in through there into your body. So what we're doing with visualization is we're simply allowing it and we're no longer resisting it. This light is really the life force energy that, that activates the molecules and cells in your body. It's how there is a living body. This is the life of a living body. This is what is the life of it on an energetic level, which really creates the molecules and cells and all of that that ends up as organs and bones and skin. So it's already here. 
but we visualize this to stop resisting it so more can come in because this is everywhere. It's the life force energy, chi of everything. Prana, chi, we think of this in different words, different traditions. So this light is this prana, is this chi, is this luminosity of awareness. So visualize this coming in through the top of your head, through your crown chakra, into your skull, into your head, filling every nook and cranny of your brain, your head, your eyes, your ears. Sometimes I visualize it like sort of white milk pouring into the body so you can see it pouring into the body and filling every nook and cranny every aspect of the of the body is pouring into you because you're allowing it which means you're no longer resisting it there's a natural resistance when we feel we're a separate from the universe, separate from everything. And this allows us to let go of that illusion and allow the universe to pour into us. So I see this as white light and feel it as love, as absolute, unconditional love an infinite wisdom, infinite knowing. So it knows far more about healing than we could ever know. Our mind is too limited to understand what's infinite, but this is infinite. And its love is absolute. And so if you can feel this moving in your body, wherever it is, it will stop at certain points and spend more time there if it needs healing. You don't need to question it. Trust that it already knows far more than we could. Over the past 25 years, it's shown me this when I want it to go to some part of the body. Sometimes it won't and it'll stay in one place, but I realize that that's actually where the healing needs to come from. Even though the person has a problem with another part of their body, I was working with a woman who had her, her foot had some gangrene in it and, and she was going to have her toe removed, amputated, so it didn't spread to the rest of her foot. And so when I was working with her, I, I wanted the energy to go down to her foot, where the problem was, as far as I knew, and it didn't. It stayed in her heart. It just stayed there. It was just working there, and it wouldn't come down, and I started kind of trying to coax it down <laughs> until I realized that I knew nothing. That the healing was happening in her heart. That was affecting her foot, and it did. So with enough experiences like that, I've learned to just get out of the way and allow it to heal, allow it to love. So as you feel this energy moving through your body at whatever pace, I don't set the pace for this. This is for you. This happens at your pace. As it fills the head, it will move to the shoulders, the neck, the arms, down to the fingertips, and when it gets to the fingers, it will 
there's so much of it, it will start pouring out into the world as it moves through your chest and back and your belly and your low back. Again, it's going to move at whatever pace it needs to, not what I say. Through the hips and the thighs, knees, calves and shins and ankle down into the feet. And when it fills the feet, the whole body is filled. And it pours in from the center of the feet into the earth, healing the earth. You're a vessel for this light. It's just pouring through you. And throughout the rest of your body, it's moving out into the world through, the, through your pores with every breath. It's overflowing your body into the world and healing the world. You're a vessel for this a vehicle for this, because you're willing to allow this life force energy to fill you. And as you do this, you can begin to feel your, your body changing to energy, to a light body, a body of pure energy. And this is where the magic of physical healing happens, among other things. But this moving of the physical form back to its origin as pure energy, as light, resets the physical matter, recreates it in its healthier form. And as this happens, we, we feel whatever part of our body this is working on, the, the warmth and love and care that's so much a part of this. What was tense and resisting and becomes relaxed and soft, loved, held, caressed, and cared for. And as we feel this happening, we change our resistance and rejection of this part of our body to love. And this is what it needs. It needs to be love. It's partly a, an absence of love that's creating the, the illness, the pain. And love is softening that, relaxing that. allowing the natural parts of the body to do the healing that it needs to do. Without this resistance, there's a free flow of energy, oxygen, immune system, everything else. So this helps us change our mind. And we learn to love ourselves, to love what we rejected and resisted. It's a natural part when we have illness to feel there's something wrong, something 
we wish we're not like this. We don't accept it. So we reject it, maybe unconsciously. And this resets that thought. Because we're not really separate from this light. This is our true nature. Our true nature is love. So it's easier for us to visualize this as something coming from outside of us something more than us. And once we've done that and experienced the healing, we realize that we're not separate from this. This is us. It makes it easier for this to love us at first so that we can so that we can love ourselves. And I offer this as a teaching and a, a training and a practice so that you can do this yourself. You can let this light flow through you, flow into you and through you until you realize that it's always been here. Now you're paying attention to it. And the feeling of this pure light, pure energy, pure love, beyond all physical matter, is wonderfully comforting. This is not yet pure awareness, which is beyond even this. But it's moving in that direction, the freedom of this, the love of this, the bliss and peace of this. This light has all that, all those qualities. This is sort of where pure awareness and the physical body meet, where embodiment happens. And as we learn to see the healing that happens in this way, which often people experience as miraculous or impossible, and yet, it can't be denied. Illness is a wonderful teaching tool in this way because we can't deny that there's chronic pain when there is. And when there's freedom from it, that also can't be denied. It's teaching us to trust this. We can even be grateful for an illness or chronic pain that allows us to experience this, this contrast. And as you do this, you'll find this a wonderful meditation to do, whether there's illness or not. Always something can be healed more, even if we're not aware of it. The feeling of this warmth and love.
It feels wonderful. But it's also doing something to us. It's healing us on every level, not just physical, emotional, psychological, mental, and spiritual. So the only real thing that we need to do is just let go. Just trust this enough to welcome it, invite it, don't resist it. And then naturally observe what's happening in any way that we can. It's not important to understand or figure it out or think we know what's happening. It's best to have an open mind and just observe. appreciate and love. As you do this, the separation between physical matter, physical body, and an energetic body will fade away. We won't feel the separation anymore. If you have pain and you can open to this, you may experience the complete freedom from pain, complete relief as attention moves to this energy, which does not have pain. And you can feel how the, the physical and the pure energy interrelate inter are, inter be with each other. It's wonderful that it helps relieve any resistance and rejection that we have developed over time with our thoughts, any separation, any lack of love. I did this a number of years ago in my own body. I had a, a ruptured disc, L5, I think it was, lower back near the hip. And there was quite intense pain for a long time. And when I did this, every day the warmth of this energy moving through the whole body and then moving up and down the spine and then focusing like a laser beam right on that disc. It healed in a week. Every day I could stand and walk 
twice as much as the day before. But the real beauty of it was just the experience of this, the warmth. It made me grateful that I had this injury so that I would bring attention to this. It's a practice. It takes practice to do this. I think this, this video can help because you can use this over and over until you don't need it anymore. Until you can feel this energy so quickly, so strongly. That whenever it's needed, you, it's always here. It's always here. We just don't notice it. We just haven't been made aware of it. And this is a practice of becoming aware of it. So we practice more to be aware of it. In the beginning, you may just feel a tingling Whatever you feel, a pulsing of energy, the warmth, the relaxation. This is uniquely for you. How this energy works is uniquely and perfectly for you. It is not general. <laughs> it is specifically for you. So when I work with people individually, there's more that I, I can't do with this because it's individual to them, such as seeing the, the gift of whatever their symptoms are, which is hard because it's painful and it seems the opposite of a gift. But we find what the gift is, the message that it's bringing. And from there, the source of the illness. But this is a practice that you can do. And, and you, will, you will have your own insights while this is happening. It will show you. Ways that are. Create more suffering in ways that create less. You can learn from this just by being open, letting your thoughts go, and allowing this to teach you. So we'll just settle into this experience for a while. Let thoughts drift away. You don't need to give them any attention. What happens with this energy is more than we're able to understand. So we just let it be. We just let it do what it's doing. Trust it.
If resistance comes up, allow the resistance to be. Love the resistance until it dissolves. Allow the mind and thought to sink down into the spiritual heart. If attention moves, from the body to pure awareness, well, that's fine, isn't it? If the body needs attention, then you'll notice that too. We're dealing with a world of pure energy, appearing as form, not separate from the form, but as you may be experiencing, there is so much more. Even your thoughts really come from this energy. Nothing can exist without it. And it is absolute love, absolute wisdom. Absolute knowing. 